Hi guys, welcome to Next Gen Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 9.2 question. So let's get started. So in this question, we have a iron manganese melt at 1863 Kelvin and we pass argon gas through this melt. So the mole fraction of manganese is 0.5 in the melt. In the argon gas, we see that manganese evaporates into the organ gas and it also becomes a gas. The number of moles of organ gas is 1 and the gas leaves the melt at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. Amount of manganese evaporated equals to 1.50 grams. So the number of moles of manganese evaporated equals to 1.5 divided by 55 grams which is the atomic weight of manganese and we get the number of moles. So the gas leaves the melt at the pressure of 1 atmosphere. So the partial pressure of manganese in the gas is given as the mole fraction of manganese in gas multiplied with the total pressure of the gas which is 1 atmosphere as discussed earlier. So the moles of manganese plus moles of manganese by moles of argon into the one atmosphere gives us the partial pressure of manganese in the gas. So that is around 0 0.0266 atmospheres. If you, now if you go to Gaskell Appendix A and go to the table 8.4, you have manganese and the saturated vapor pressure is given by this formula. Now, as we have seen in the appendix A, page 653, table A.4, we will get the saturated vapor pressure of liquid manganese at 1863 Kelvin. So, we will use the formula. So, we will take the exponential of the A by T minus P plus C, B L N T plus C. So that would be around 0 0.0493 atmospheres. Now the activity is the effective concentration of an element in a solution. So we know the activity of manganese is given by the partial pressure of manganese divided by the saturated vapor pressure of manganese. So saturated means the maximum amount of manganese can be present at a certain temperature in the gas. So more than this amount it's not allowed. So we divide by the partial pressure by the saturated vapor pressure to get the activity of manganese. Now we know that activity equals to activity coefficient into mole fraction of manganese in the melt. So we will write that in the formula. So this is mole fraction of manganese in the melt. Now the activity coefficient is nothing but activity by the mole fraction. So the mole fraction in the melt is 0.5. So the activity coefficient is 1.0. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content 
please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel also please press the bell icon for further notifications if you have any content that you would like to see please do comment below